All right, my friends, it is time for math today. And there are two different ways you can do the lesson today. So you can watch the video and pause it when I show you the pages in the big book and then use your carrots at home to solve the problem and write it on your whiteboard. Or I have also put out in your things this worksheet with the domino dots and that's another way to use your carrots to solve the problems on the domino dots. So either way you're going to use the little carrots in your packet so if you don't have those all cut out press pause right now go ahead and cut them out so you are ready for today. So I have this giant book and if you've had if I've had any of your siblings in class they will tell you that Miss Schultz's arms are not long enough to hold the big book. And I will probably whack myself in the face with it at least one time. So this is how big this book is. It is sitting on my desk and it is almost as tall as me from my desk up. So that is why I will probably whack myself in the face at least once. My arms are not long enough to hold the book when it is open. So this book today is called Joe's Carrots. And we're going to look at some subtraction and then think about what the addition sentence is that goes with the subtraction problem. So it's like what we did yesterday, but it's a little bit different because it comes with a story. So let's see if I can not whack myself in the face with it. I have to scoot way over here so you can see the whole book. Joe planted carrots in one long row. Each day he sat and watched them grow. Look at the carrots in the row. What do you see? What do you know? So this is a great time to press pause. Think about what do you see and what do you know? When you can answer those questions, you can push play again. So push pause. Welcome back, friends. It says... When Joe woke up one fine spring day, he saw some carrots had been taken away. Look at the carrots in the row. What do you see? What do you know? So again, this is where I'm going to pause the video. And if my option is to solve the problem, I'm going to use my carrots and solve the problem on my whiteboard. Welcome back. What was happening? Where did they go? Poor little Joe. He did not know. Look at the carrots in the row. What do you see? What do you know? Remember, press pause. Solve the problem. Welcome back, friends. Look at how shocked the puppy is. Let's see what happens. In the morning, Joe saw with a fright that more carrots were taken in the night. Look at the carrots in the row. What do you see? What do you know? Remember, push pause. Solve the problem. Welcome back. Then another carrot was not there. Was it just a hungry hare? Look at the carrots in the row. What do you see? What do you know? Pause. Welcome back. Was it a goat or even a mouse? Had his mother seen them from the house? Look at the carrots in the row. What do you see? What do you know? Remember, press pause. Welcome back. Joe liked carrots as a tasty treat, but now there were just a few to eat. Look at the carrots in the row. What do you see? What do you know? Remember, press pause and solve the problem. Welcome back. See, I almost whacked myself in the face there. Are you ready for the ending? It's a surprise ending. Ready? That night, his mother baked and baked to surprise little Joe with a special cake. 
When Joe woke up and opened his eyes, the carrot cake was a great surprise. So it wasn't an animal that was stealing Joe's carrots. It was his mom to bake him a special cake. So remember, if you forgot when you were watching the video, go back and press pause after every page and solve the problems. Just one way to do your work today, or you can work on this worksheet, or you can even do both. So this worksheet is in Google Classroom. It has also been posted to Class Dojo so that you can answer it that way. Or you can just take pictures of you solving the problems on the whiteboards and send them to me. Have a great day.